<clears throat> good morning, good morning, everybody. We are back. The show is called TBR Solutions Sports Forum. It is myself, the Sobre Boys, Wale Fatsi. Uh, unfortunately, uh, today I don't have all the guys because of various issues. One of the major issues is load shading. As I speak to you, I'm on load shading myself too. So it's a little bit difficult and I can't reach all the guys. The good news is um, uh, going forward, we'll be having Saddam all the time on our show. He was supposed to be the first one uh, today to hook up with us so that we look at the game that played uh, yesterday. But unfortunately, as I say, load shading. Try to contact him. <clears throat> He's struggling with load shading as much as I do. And I hope... Uh, we are going to have a very good show, irrespective of the difficulties of load shedding. And then, uh, but uh, the bit goes on. Mushito Zuelabe. Now, we saw what happened last night. Um, I don't know. I don't know um, what is happening, but you may know, um, maybe. This is the story of last night. Um, Kaiser Chiefs lost to Amazon 4-0. All right, four nil, not even uh, uh, four one, and so on. So people are arguing uh, this and that, uh, but I'm sure you also watched the game, and I'm also uh, sure that you you have your own opinion. I also watched the game. All right, um, I don't know what to take. And then uh, we know that Kaiser Chiefs is in the process of rebuilding. And the loss yesterday, it was really heavy because it will affect them big time. But there's still a long way to go. And then I hear people are complaining about the coach and so on. But I don't think it, the issue is about the coach now. Uh, my opinion is players should also take responsibility. And I don't see players taking responsibility because if you look at the game of Kaiser Chiefs, and then all the losses that they suffered, starting from Sukukuni and including this one, it all happens because of their own mistakes, especially at the back. All right. Uh, we saw it. It was in Ob at some point. It was in Gezane. And then, uh, you know, they make a lot of uh, a silly mistake. And then uh, they had their own chances uh, as Kaiser Chiefs. And then, but unfortunately, they were not taking them. All right, I don't know whether it's because they 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 they, they were under pressure. They think too much, and then uh, Saddam would always say they don't respect the jersey, they don't respect the team. So maybe that is the issue. And then uh, that's my opinion. But I want to hear what is your opinion. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what should? Uh, what is the problem? So, because as far as I'm concerned, uh, they should have done better yesterday. But at the same time, we should not take away from Amazulu. They played well, they did well, and while we're still talking about Amazulu, congratulations to Sheikh Mangobangwenya, one of our own. Uh, he has joined Amazulu's uh, developmental teams, uh, which is quite good for him. And then uh, we are happy for him. And then uh, we've been talking myself and him. And this morning I tried him, so he's still busy uh, sorting things up. But um, yeah, we are looking forward to a very exciting league, and we see we'll see what's going to happen. We know that uh, today there are some upcoming games, so we are going to see what's going to happen. Remember, I said um, uh, I'm doing what you call the the Kaiser Chiefs history, uh, which I share with you. So that uh, you know what's happening as far as uh, Kaiser Chiefs is concerned. Now, uh, last week we were looking at the 70s, and then uh, let's look at the 80s. And then uh, if the 70s was the decade in which Kaiser Chiefs made South African uh, football uh, sit up and take notice, the 80s was the era in which Amakosu were truly established in the country as the Cup Kings. In 1980s, was a magnificent decade for Kaiser Chiefs, with the club winning three league titles and amazing 28 cup trophies in that in the decade. Kaiser Chiefs 
uh, were a team in transition at the start of the decade in 1980, a year in which they won only Sailors champion, champion of Champions trophy uh, after beating Pups Pimville United Brothers 3-1 over two legs in the final. Remember, Pups was the team whereby Teenage Lala, he is Teenage, uh, if you don't know, uh, was was playing for. And then uh, here is Fetsi Chipa Mulatedi. These are Kaiser Chiefs in the 80s. And then um, and then uh, Abednego Shaganovo and Simon Buluhoko scored the goals for the Lama Boys while Pups also scored an own goal. So, so uh, they won that cup. Then Nobo uh, was one of those players that were central to chief success in the 70s and, 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 and 80s. Flashing pass opponents and a deadly finisher with the Ida foot. Nobo scored an over 150 goals for Kaiser Chiefs in his 14 year with the club. So he has been with Kaiser Chief for over a plot of 14 years. And goalkeepers never knew which foot uh, I was going to use before I blasted a shot at them. That was normal, uh, quoted as saying that, all right? Then uh, the year 1981 was one of the best in the history of Kaiser Chiefs. They won almost all trophies on offer. They won almost all trophies on offer. Uh, this is Kaiser Chiefs in the 80s, all right? And then uh, this is Kaiser Chiefs in the 70s. As you can see, the days Dr. Kaiser Mtaun there, and days Ewet Lipnene, uh, one of the flammabant uh, person, days Banks Sudi, days uh, uh, Pele Blaske was from uh, Namibia, by then was called Southwest Africa, and then days Essin Tweneng, and days uh, Cheki Asnamali Masike, days Tiki Koza, yeah, these are you know uh, the, the 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 players of of the seventies at Kaiser Chiefs, and then uh, the Chiefs won a hard fought league title in nineteen eighty one, beating the rivals Highlands Park to a second position by just one point. The Men's Day Cup, the BP Top Eight, the Sailors Champion of Champions were also added to the trophy cabinet by the rampant Amakos in nineteen eighty one. Dynamos were humiliated over two legs in the BP Top 8 final, while Orlando Pirates were beaten 3-1 in the Men's Day Cup final. Patrick A. Sintuleum, the late, uh, may so rest in pain. This was also still shuttling between America and South Africa, netted four times against Dynamos in the BP Top 8 final, while other goals were scored by Novo, which is Shaka Novo, and the emerging young winger, Zebulon Sputland Labo. Remember, Zebulon Sputland Club was from Guatemala, just like a uh, teenage ladder. If Patrick S. Ngelem was the jail in Kaiser Chief Crown, and arguably the club's greatest player, teenage was the crown prince. The two undoubtedly among the most gifted players over to don Kaiser Chief's jersey. The teenage was a magician uh, on the ball uh, who many soccer pundits called the Rolls Royce of South African football. Um, Ryder Mkfukien was quoted as saying he was a huge fan uh, due to his immense skill pace down the left flank with his jersey number 11 becoming a special piece of the club's history. That was what how Shaga Nobo uh, described him. You know, I met a teenage Lata in Pinoni at some point, I think. I was still an official for the Department of Education. I think he was looking for a school for a child. Then I said, you know what? Because I used to be part of I used to hate you, man. When you trapped the ball, I knew that things were going bad. <laughs> but we were laughing. It was just a joke. And then Amakosi missed out in 1982 league title, finishing third. But they remained the knockout uh, kings, retaining the men's state cup, sales house, champions of champion and BP top eight. Right flank, right arm for King led the team through his successful period uh, and um, succeeding Petros Tenten Zaman. Tenten Zaman from Natal was one of the captain and then followed by uh, Right arm for King from Hilbron in the Free State, uh, holding the post until 1986 when Max Maponyane mostly wore the armband until Howard Freeze 
resume the command in 1989. Uh, Howard Fries, I know he used to be one of my favorite players. As I, I'm sure by now you know that uh, I've been a very huge Cosmos fan. And then uh, I'll show you Howard Fries. And then, uh, you know, I used to like Howard Fries. I felt very bad when he joined Kaiser Chiefs. And then uh, he was a, a very good player. When Howard Fries, I think, was playing for a team in El Rado Park. I just forgot the name. And then Jomo recruited him. And then he transformed him. He used to be an attacking midfielder. He transformed him to be a, a defender. He was one of the excellent defenders, Howard Fries. No other Chiefs uh, player wore the captain armbands for as long as Mufuke. So Ryder Mufuke was the guy who wore the armbands more than any other player. In 1983 was not a good year for Amakosi. Only one trophy added the Datsun Challenge. However, anything changed the following season with the appointment of Joe Franklin as the coach. Not every uh, player enjoyed uh, Joe Franklin as a uh, tough nails approach, increased focus on physical training, but uh, 1984 was a fantastic year for Amakosi. Chiefs not only win the league title, but also the JPS knockout, the champs of champs and the men's they come. Before the start of the season, Frank Jingles Pereira left the club after five outstanding seasons for the Glamour Boys as a, a genuine crowd favorite. Uh, Pereira joined Amakosi in 1979 as a striker, but was quickly transformed to a defender, mostly de deployed as a sweeper role. And then he was known Mama Gasponi. Those who know Kaiser kind of Chiefs, they will know. And then uh, it was also the year the young and talented middle filter Fetsi Chico Mladeli joined Kaiser Chief for the then transfer record of 45,000. And then I'm sure uh, next week we'll start from where we ended uh, with the 80s so that at least you you know what's happening as far as Kaiser Chiefs is concerned. Now, due to time constraint, and then I think uh, we'll move on to uh, other stories. Uh, I'm sure uh, those uh, people like Saddam and then uh, other people uh, who have been following football, you'll remember this years. And then, uh, yeah, so yeah, the players of today, they must, uh, you know, go to history and check uh, what these players uh, used to do. And I'm sure there are footage there. They can look at the footage and see what these players did because um, what is happening now to Kaiser Chiefs, uh, it's really a shame. So, and then they need to start checking uh, how can they uh, do the, 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 the work. Now, let's move on. Um, and then I'm going to now share with you uh, the the BP Top 8, uh, which has been, um, uh, we know that uh, BP Top 8, uh, not long. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think it was, um, uh, okay, all right, all right. Um, um, I'm trying to share the BP Top 8 with you quickly. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, okay. um, now let's see. Yeah, I, I'm sure as I indicated that um, we, we, we know what happened last night, uh, but uh, I'm sure Kaiser Chiefs will come back and recover from uh, whatever happened. So, so um, we, we are looking forward to them doing uh, well uh, going forward. And then, uh, so probably uh, things will change very soon. So yeah, I'm trying to share with you the, the draw of the BP top eight. And then uh, um, let's see what's happening. Yeah, let's start with uh, uh, top eight. Uh, we know that, uh, no, no, the MTN, MTN. Uh, these are the last 32 teams that have been set cheaper United, have been pipped against All Stars, and then Cape Town City against Barroca. I'm sure you can see for yourself. And then Kaiser Chiefs, Amavarara, Golden Arrows, Kupuna United, that's a tough one. And then Royal AM, 
and 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 against the um, uh, Pulukwane city, but not only one. The big one is this one. Did you ever thought of this one? Uh, Kaiser Chiefs. No, no. Mamelodi Sundowns will be playing Orlando Pirates uh, at last 32. This one is going to be big. So this one tells you that <laughs> one of the two is not going to proceed to the next round. So we'll watch the game and see what's going to happen um, between the two teams. Who's going to go well and do uh, and, and go all the way and show that uh, they finally take the cup. So those are some of the uh, issues. But let's look at the uh, this week's fixture. As we have already seen that uh, uh, Kaiser Chiefs, they have played yesterday. But let's see who's playing again. Yeah, here is a fixture for today and for tomorrow or, or till Monday. We have uh, Maruma Gallants playing against Richard Bay. We have Orlando Pirates, Golden Arrows. We have Chippa United, Cape Town City. Stellenbosch is Kukune United. Swilos, ATS Galaxy, Marisbeck, Real AM. This one, the Twane Derby, Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, Super Sport United. We'll see what's going to happen. May the best team win. And then, uh, yeah, we will then uh, uh, see who's going to do what. But, um, you know, uh, our league has become so tough now. Uh, especially this time of uh, of the season because everybody wants to do something and ensure that at the end of the day they continue and do well now let's see now let's go to europe um i want to share some news with you pertaining to save your money this guy i really really like him and then i think he's doing a good job now we know that joe felix has signed with at Chelsea, and I'm sure you have seen his first game. I was impressed with the way he played. He played very well. He was doing well. He was uh, the guy who was putting too much pressure uh, for Chelsea, but unfortunately, he was given a red card. So people are are really angry at the coach that the coach is not doing well, and then um, I don't know. And then, like I said, I. You know, I normally listen to what Pep Guardiola normally says. He says, uh, give this guy a chance and then you'll see. You will you'll prove many people, uh, they're doubting Thomas's that uh, he's one of the best uh, coach. Now, uh, we know that today we are going to have a big one. Um, and then uh, in, the, in the Manchester or in the EPL. But this is what I want to share with you. I hope you see this one. Uh, let's see. I want to share this with you so that uh, uh, you see what's happening. You know, Man United, as much as people can say whatever that they say, but uh, I don't think Man United are doing bad. And uh, look, look at uh, the, the records, you know? And uh, I think that this guy, the coach, should be given an opportunity. He should be given a chance to prove a point that um, he is going to do well. Uh, look at the, the, the statistics. The numbers don't lie. Uh, they are a team to beat uh, Man United. And uh, Mark, Marcus Rashford is absolutely doing well as far as uh, the, 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 the player is concerned. So, yes, uh, people may say, no, no. Uh, they are struggling, but I think uh, we need to uh, watch the game and then and 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 give them a chance. We know that today at two thirty, uh, it's Man United against Man City. This is this is the big derby. This is one of those big derbies. So we are going to see what's going to happen, and then uh, may the best team win. I don't know who's going to win in that game. Uh, we'll watch the space who's going to take it uh, going forward. And then, uh, yeah, as I said, um, I want to share something with you uh, pertaining to Sadio Mane. Uh, this man is, is one of the people that I think, uh, you know, I respect him with what he does. Uh, or probably, I think we'll share that uh, probably um, uh, on Tuesday, on our Tuesday morning show. 
Um, in the meantime, let me move on to another one. Um, right, we know that World Cup, um, they've already uh, chosen the players uh, who qualifies for the FIFA Football of the Year. So you may decide who do you think will take this trophy. Uh, here are the players' candidates uh, whom we think uh, deserve to be there. Now we have Lionel Messi, one of them, uh, Karen Benzema, uh, Halat, Mbappe, and so on. So I don't know, who do you think deserve to be the FIFA player of the year? Well, I think Messi deserve it. I watched ESPN yesterday, and then I could see that uh, Frank Lobo was saying, no, 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 Messi doesn't deserve it. He was not the best player for the 18 months. I don't know who was the best player for the 18 months. Um, for, 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 for. I mean, if you look at all those people, was Benzema uh, the best player for the 18 months? You can't say that. Was Kelly Mbappe the uh, best player for the 18 months? You can't say that. So for me, Messi has to win this. But I want to hear from you. Who do you think deserve to win this trophy? Um, uh, if you see that. Um, I know uh, Sergio Mane went there, did well. But um, you know what? There's no better player than Messi now. Uh, that's my opinion. And then uh, I may be wrong. I may be um, right. So yeah. And then uh, let's move on. Uh, the show goes on. Now let's move on quickly and see <clears throat> when I say Messi deserve it. <clears throat> um, as I speak to you, he has taken few accolades with him already. But let's go to the Messi special for today's show. Uh, a quick one. Um, I just want to check with you that uh, <clears throat> the major trophies, um, I just want to share uh, some of the news that uh, um, uh, <clears throat> um, um, all right, let's see quickly. Um, as I indicated, uh, so far, for PSG, I'll show you what Messi has done so far for PSG. And now, if people argue and say that this, he doesn't deserve, uh, you know, the, the 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 football of the year this year, what do they mean by that? Because uh, you need to back up that with facts. Now, let's look at the Messi special. Now, um, let's see. Let's start here. These are the trophies that uh, Lionel Messi has already won. Um, all right. Um, in 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 already 2021, 2022, uh, he has won major major trophies. So now, if you argue and say uh, he doesn't deserve to win the the football of the year, FIFA football of the year, what would be the reason? What would be the reason to make you think that he has won? one of the major trophies. Now, all those people that I showed you that they've, they've been, uh, you know, um, as selected or, um, what is the term, by the way, they have been shortlisted for the FIFA uh, Player of the Year. So who of all those people have won the major trophies? Because this is how we should argue. If people continue to say, no, he doesn't deserve it, and then uh, they should give us facts. And then uh, what do they mean by that? And then because, as I say, uh, Lionel Messi so far, he has done extremely well, uh, more than many other uh, players. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I just want to share something quickly with you um, so that um, you, you see what I'm talking about. Um, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay. Now, uh, so far, and then uh, to prove that Lionel Messi has done extremely well, um, he has won all the major trophies uh, as far as uh, football is concerned for this year. Let me share with you quickly what he has already won so that you see uh, how far has he gone. These are the major trophies that he won. He was he has won Finalamisa, 
title. He has won Liga One. He has won the French French Super Cup. He has won the Golden Ball. He has won FIFA World Cup. Now, if you say Messi doesn't deserve it, now who oh, among all those players who are shortlisted have won many titles than him? So because when we argue, we need to use facts rather than being emotional. So that's my argument. Let's use facts and then instead of being emotional. So Lionel Messi, for me, is the best player uh, ever, not even uh, just for uh, 2021, 2022. He's the best ever player, you know, uh, to grace our football. So we are happy uh, that we are seeing him now. And then uh, because we are happy seeing him now, and then it's great for us uh, to see Lionel Messi doing well. And then we'll be telling our children that this is the man. That is why I'm doing the Messi special because I want to prove a point. Let me just share what he has done with PSG so far. This is what he has done with PSG. Now you tell me, then you say this man does not deserve the FIFA uh, football of the 14 games so far with PSG, eight goals and 10 assists, 18 goal contribution, one free kick uh, scored, 35 chances created, 685 accurate passes and then um, contributing about 83 percent of the success rate and then 48 uh, successful dribbles and then in terms of game average uh, he had 8.46 average rating what a player so now for people to continue to argue and say no he doesn't deserve and then uh, i'm saying give us the facts Let's see if you give us the fact, then we'll I will understand and say, no, no, maybe you're right. He doesn't deserve to be to be there. I think uh, Lionel Messi has done well. And then the other thing that I want to share, you know, he's a complete player, a complete player. Lionel Messi is not only a, a, a goal scorer. You know, Lewandowski has just indicated that this guy has transformed his game. Look at the assist. Look at the assist. So he leads with everything. He's also leading with assists. He has 350 assists, and then uh, followed by Di Maria 252, and then uh, De Bruyne 250, and then uh, Suarez 247, Neymar 242, and then uh, Tadic 242. Two. All right. Now, when people say he's not the best, what do they mean? Because these are the facts. For me, Lionel Messi is the best player. I thank you very much. I see that our numbers are climbing, and thank you very much. Yes, it has been very difficult to do this show, with load shedding, all the issues of the difficulties. But nevertheless, we'll keep on improving. And then please comment and tell us your opinion. I thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is the Sobre Boys, one fancy from a TBR solution. TBR solution is a financial company that helps people to be financially savvy. I'm sure these days you are aware that prices are very up in terms of petrol, in terms of goods and services, prices are very, very high. Now, these days we are on a campaign to help those members of GPF or government employees especially if you are 55 years old or above and you are contemplating to resign or go on pension in three months time, give us a call or drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you back so that we help you to get your money expeditiously, you know, as compared to sometimes people get their money after a long time. We will then transfer your money from GPF to Alan Gray, whom we have a relationship with. And the good news is, once the money has been transferred, you will choose how much you want to earn. If you happen to pass on, your spouse will also get the same amount. Then if it happens that both of you passes on, you would have appointed or selected uh, beneficiaries. It could either be your children or anyone else. And there's nothing like age limit that they must be 22 or below. Even if they're above 22, they'll be able to get the, the 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 inheritance from you so that's how flexible it is and then um, 
I know that sometimes people, they worry about medical aid and all that. We also have with other partners who assist you to get a medical aid. So if you want to learn more and get more information pertaining to that, just drop us a WhatsApp. We'll therefore come back to you. I thank you.